How's it going? David Crandall here with another FL Studio tutorial. Before I get started, I want to let you know, as usual, I am using FL Studio 8 Producer Edition, so some of the features you see in this tutorial may or may not be available for you to use. In this tutorial today, I wanted to talk to you about the slicer in the playlist and using it to edit audio files that you've recorded into the playlist, say a vocal track. Oftentimes in a studio, when you record a vocal track and a part is little mispronounced or you mess up, oftentimes you'll keep going with the rest of the song, then come back and punch in on that part. Well, this isn't necessarily punching in, however, it is editing that part and having it being perfectly in sync as before. So what we'll go ahead and do is we'll select our input here on track one and we'll bring, bring the gain down. down and here we go we're gonna go ahead and record Mary had a little lamb why not this is probably gonna sound awful too so we'll re hit record hit audio into the playlist as an audio clip and here we go Mary had a little lamb little lamb little lamb Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Mary had a little ah. lamb, little lamb. Li okay, so I accidentally double clicked record when I meant to click stop, but you get the idea. We kind of messed up a bit on that. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary. Okay. So obviously right around here, we kind of screwed up. So what we can do is we'll grab our slicer tool, which looks kind of like this blade. And uh, we'll go ahead and select the area that we want to edit by clicking down here, holding and dragging the slicer up. And this will slice right here. It'll slice our sample, and then we'll go ahead and slice right when it ends. And we'll go ahead and delete that little piece of sample. Go ahead and select your brush tool or your delete tool, but we'll go ahead and use the brush tool. That's what I'm used to. And right-click it, and it deletes. Now, what we can do is we can go ahead and hit record once again and fix that part and if we want to we can even sing along because we're just going to delete all the stuff before and after this empty area all right so we'll go ahead and hit record and hit audio into the playlist as an audio clip once again mary had a little lamb little lamb little lamb mary had a little lamb okay so now that we've done that what we'll do is we'll grab our slicer again, go ahead and get rid of the point that we don't want in the earlier clip here, and we'll get rid of the later point as well. And we'll grab our paintbrush tool, delete here and delete here, and we'll bring this up right there. And it kind of looks like one waveform almost. So we'll go ahead and play it and see how it sounds. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. All right, that about covers this tutorial. My name is David Crandall. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. By the way, if you noticed any pops from where our audio sample was sliced, that can be fixed easily with different methods of noise reduction, which I'll go ahead and go over in another tutorial very soon. If you're enjoying these tutorials, please subscribe to my channel as I'll be making many, many more. And that about wraps it up. Also, if you have any suggestions for a tutorial, please let me know and I'll do my best to make that tutorial for you. Alright, until next time, again, my name is David Crandall, and you've watched another one of my FL Studio tutorials. Take it easy.